Today I am accompanied by my grandma, Mama Gede. Mama Gede, salam be. Salam. <laughs> She's the cutest thing in the world and I haven't been able to leave the house because I don't want to leave her alone all day. So it's almost about uh, 4.30. There is an event uh, at Fendika. So today's video is about things to do in Addis and what type of activities there are, festivals, exhibitions, bazaars, this type of things always occur in Addis. And I just wanted to show you some of them and what type of things they do on those festivals or bazaars or any type of activity activities that there are. I want to show you a little bit of, yeah, a little taste of that. Today there is, um, artisan bazaar right so everybody who has um a product they could be making things like this they could be making jewelries they can be making bags but all made in ethiopia with locals and small businesses that are you know that wants to showcase their work so it's like a pop-up shop and they do it in fendika sub month they do this um they do this bazaar or yeah artisan bazaar so I'm going to go there. Uh, I was supposed to be there like in the morning at 11 o'clock because it's supposed to be all day. But I didn't want to leave this beautiful creature here alone. So I don't know if it is, is still happening. So I'm just going to go and see what's still there and show you a little bit about it. I did also went to... I added Lengiti. So I'm gonna go and see what's up and what type of things they sell and how cute Fendika looks because I've always seen it at night and I've never seen it at daytime and with, you know, shop feeling. So yeah, I'm gonna go there. See you. Mama Gede. Ciao. 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 <laughs> so also, if I put my hair like this, could look like this. Ooh, look at me. Ooh, get shy. What does it? Does it shine? Like a gopher in water, like on you come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, So I just left my house. There are different ways to get there. You can take a ride. Or you can take public transport. I'm going to take public transport. Uh, from here uh, to Bole. And then from Bole, I will take one that goes to Kazan, just then I'll walk. Yeah. I took a minibus up until Boldy and then I had to take another one to Kazan, just but... I was supposed to take another uh, minibus to go to Kazan, just, but, you know, having, okay, so uh, having good friends uh, like <laughs> yeah. this beautiful man, uh, it's good. So we're gonna go together to Pandika and see what's happening. See you. See you. <laughs> Okay, we have arrived to Fendika, we're gonna park and go inside.
Everybody and all of our safar is represented here. Everybody is safar. Okay. <laughs> So he's the genius behind oh, this uh, beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, of course, always. Wait, let me see. There he is. And there he is. And there he is. And there he is. <laughs> Thank you for creating this beautiful space for us because there is a lots of place in Addis but the only place I feel comfortable to be myself, to dress how I want, to connect with people and to meet so many different types of people that doesn't matter the level of lifestyle you have is this place. So I thank you for that because he didn't only create a cultural place but he created a safe space for like-minded people. So, thank, you. thank you. Very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we are in a hadith spot. They're selling their products here. So they bring all uh, the materials from uh, outside of the city, but still in Ethiopia. And then here, this beautiful, wonderful lady who's making these. Uh, she's very camera shy, so she's not going to be on the camera. But definitely check them out because they make uh, lots of beautiful things like this. And also bottles, I think it's super gorgeous and very um, artistic because you can't really find these type of things anywhere. Oh, look at this, you see, you can put your uh, bunna, what do you, yeah, coffee, and they're made out of uh, coffee as well. Nutella bottles. Oh, Nutella bottles, look, they converted them, it's more like a recycling. They recycle lots of stuff, which is really great. I mean, these bottles are recycled better. Yeah. I'll take their contact as well. If you're interested, I'll put it under their video. They don't have a shop, so but you will find them online and in bazaars like this. In bazaars like this, you'll find them. That's why it's very important to come to these type of bazaars because you'll find things that you don't find every day in any shop. And also creative people like Mama here, uh, that are making wonderful things like this. So definitely uh, do check out when bazaars like this happen because you can find gorgeous stuff like these. I mean, come on, like for me, I wouldn't even put anything on them. Just by themselves, they're already like a beautiful art, you know? They're gorgeous decorative uh, products as well. So yeah, let's go check out another spot. This brand is called Dagma Rose. They have a stand in Fendika so you can find them every night. Fendika is also one of the places where you can find our traditional honey wine called Tetch. Also sell amazing jewelries like this. I'll take a shot. They have beautiful jewelry. 
jewelries like this. Every three weeks, they change uh, an artist and they show their artwork and sell their artwork as well. At night, it's also a restaurant, a bar, and a cultural center where you can see traditional dancing, music. There's it's uh, lots of things happening here. During daytime, you can also come here and eat because the restaurant works also at daytime. What I have amazing about this place. What I like is they have a library. Like it's an open space, but they have a library, so you can take some of the books that they have here and read, eat, whatever. Yeah, today we're showing you about the exhibitions that they do. So, I have arrived a little bit late. I didn't get to see everything because some of the stamps are gone, but we have seen something. So. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in the next video bye